welcome to learning lad in this video we will see how we can write a c program to display the hollow right angle triangle pattern now here if you look at this pattern this pattern looks very close to another pattern a simple pattern where we have the stars in the right angle triangle shape so here first what we do is we will write the program to display this uh, right angle triangle pattern and then we will modify the code to display the hollow right angle triangle pattern okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this pattern in terms of rows and columns so first second third fourth and fifth row and similarly here we have first second third fourth and fifth so we have uh, five rows and five columns now when we go to print this pattern what we do is we print the uh, contents row by row line by line so in the first line we will display whatever the stuff that we have to display for the first line then we go to the next line and we will uh, display the contents of the second row we go to the third row and we will display the contents of the third row similarly we go to the fourth and we go to the fifth line to display the content of the fifth row so when we are done printing the contents in the screen you know we get this pattern now if you look at this here then in the first row we are printing one star or in the first row we have only one column and in that column we are displaying star in the second row we have two columns and we are displaying star in the third row we have three in the fourth row we have four and in the fifth row we have five columns so by looking at this we can directly say that for a particular row the number of columns that we have to print is equal to row number so if you take the fourth row then the row number is four so we need to have four columns and we need to display the stars in all those columns okay so by using this logic we will uh, write the program and we will get the program to display this right angle triangle uh, uh, pattern and then we will modify that code and display the hollow right angle triangle pattern so here i have already written some code i have included the stdio.h header file and then i have the main function and in this main function first we will declare some of the variables that we need and in this program we will ask the user to enter for how many rows he wants the pattern so to store the user input we need a variable and i'm going to take integer type of variable and i'm going to call that variable as total rows and after that we can use the printf function and we can ask the user to enter the number of rows okay now after seeing this message the user will enter the number and we can read that by using the scanf function and the format specifier will be percentage d because we are reading an integer value and we will store that in our total rows variable now we know for how many rows we have to display this pattern so what we can do is we can display the contents row by row line by line since we have to display multiple rows or multiple lines we can take a for loop and here this for loop is for rows so if the user says five rows then this for loop will run five times and for every iteration of the for loop we will uh, print the contents for a particular row here we will take a variable and i'm going to call this variable as row number and i will initialize it with a value of 1 because we start counting the row number from 1 and the condition is how long we want this uh, for loop to run so as long as this row number variable contains a value which is less than or equal to total rows variable you know we want to run this for loop which is nothing but if the user says i want five rows then this for loop will run for five times and after that with every iteration we will increment the value of the row num variable okay so now here what i can do is i can use the printf function and i can display the row number so i'm going to say percentage d and i'm going to display the row num if i save this program and if i run the code enter the number of rows i'm going to say five now you guys can see the for loop has run five times and it has displayed 1 2 3 4 5 and all of these are present in one line so what we want is we want to display the contents of a row in a line and to display the contents of the next row we want to go to the next line so what we can do is we can add a new line by using the printf function and here i'm going to insert that new line 
now if i save this program and if i run the code and if i say i want five rows now you guys can see we get five rows here and all of them are present in separate lines so now what we can do is for every row we can calculate the number of columns that we have to display and we can display whatever the content that we want to display for all those columns so here i'm going to get rid of this uh, printf function which is displaying the row number and i'm going to keep this printf function which is inserting a new line because after displaying the content of a particular row we want to insert a new line so that we can go to the next line and print the next row okay now we have seen in this pattern that for every row we have to display one or more than one uh, columns so we can take a for loop for that also so i'm going to take a for loop and here i'm going to take a variable and and i'm going to call it as call number for column number and we will initialize it with a value of 1 because we count the columns from 1 and after that how many times we want to run this for loop or how many columns that we want to have for a particular row if you look at this pattern then for a particular row whatever the row number is that many columns we want for example for the third row we need to have three columns so in our for loop we will add the condition so that for every row we will have whatever the row number is that many columns so the condition here will become column number less than or equal to row number and after that we can increment the value of the column number okay now inside this for loop we can display the contents that we want to display for every column now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the printf function and i'm going to display a star and after displaying a star i'm going to insert a space um just to add the separation between each columns for a particular row okay now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say i want this pattern for five rows then you guys can see we get this pattern which is a right angle triangle pattern of stars okay now we have got this pattern now we will modify the code and we will display the hollow right angle triangle pattern so now if you look at this pattern then for every row uh we are displaying the stars only in certain positions and whenever we are not displaying the stars we are displaying a space for example uh in the first row we are we will have only one column and we will display the star and in the second row uh we will have two columns and we are displaying the star in the third row we are having three columns and we are displaying star in first column and third column and when we are not displaying the star we are uh, inserting a space so now here we have to come up with the logic to calculate where we have to display the star and where we have to display the spaces so here if you look at this pattern then for every row in the first column we are displaying a star so what we do is we will modify our program and we will add a condition so for every row when the column number is 1 we will display a star now we can add the conditions and we can say where we have to display the star and where we have to display the space so we can add the condition by using the if else conditional statement and if some condition is true then we will display the star if the condition is not true for that i'm going to have the else part we will display a space so i'm going to use a print of function i'm going to display a space and after that i'm going to insert another space and the second space is for the separation between the columns which we have added here after displaying the star okay so now if some condition is true then we will display the star else we will display the space now the first condition that we have seen is for every row when the column number is 1 we will display the star so we will add that condition first so here i'm going to write when the column number is 1 i'm going to display the star okay let's add only one condition for the moment and let's run this program and let's see what happens i'm going to say five rows now you guys can see whenever we have this column number is 1 for every row we are displaying the star and for all other columns we are displaying space if you look at here then another condition is in the last row 
we are displaying the star in every column if you remember in our program what we have done is we have asked the user for how many rows uh, we, he wants to display the pattern and whatever the value that the user has entered we have stored that in this total rows variable i have misspelled total rows it has become total rows but we're going to keep like that you know we can give any name for the variables um okay so here the total rows variable or in our program it is total rows variable is containing the number of rows present in this pattern so if the user says five rows then this variable will contain five and we are starting the row number counting from one so if the user says i want this pattern for five rows and we are starting the count from one then the last row will have the row number which is equal to the value stored in this total rows variable okay so by checking this whether the row number is equal to total rows variables value we can say whether we are in the last row or not so in this program i'm going to insert another condition so if the column number is 1 we will display the star along with that i'm going to add or we will insert another condition if we are in the last row then we will display the star and we can check whether we are in the last row or not by writing the condition or by checking whether row number is equal to total rows variables value in that case it means we are in the last row so if this is true that is if we are in the last row then this if condition will be true for the last row for every column and we will display star in every column now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say i want this pattern for five rows now you guys can see we get this now the next thing that we have to do is we have to form the logic for displaying the star in this diagonal line position so if you look at this pattern here when the row number is 1 and the column number is 1 we are displaying the star when the row number is 2 column number is 2 we are displaying star similarly when the row number and column number are same we are displaying the star here so another condition that we can add to our program is whenever we get row number is equal to column number we will display the star so we will add that condition also so here we will use another or condition and this time we will insert another condition which will be if row number is equal to call number whether row number equal to column number now one thing that you have to remember if you are a beginner and that is here we are using the double equal to sign it is the comparison operator don't make the mistake of using assignment operator which is single equal to sign okay now i can save the program and if i run this code and i'm going to say 10 rows now you guys can see we get this pattern so we have written the c program to display the hollow rectangle triangle pattern if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something if you have any doubt I'll write that in the comment section if you want to watch more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you later in the next video